afternoon traders. This is Tony D from Easy Markets in the Sydney Dealing Room. A little update for you if uh, you've been away from the markets the last 24 hours. Uh, what's happened is uh, there's been a stabilization of the, the risk off uh, trading that you saw on Monday. Um, and Tuesday has brought a little bit of a relief rally in the US session. This has led to a bounce in the Aussie dollar, uh, also the pound, uh, and most importantly, uh, most notably, uh, the dollar yen. The dollar yen has uh, enjoyed last week a nice recovery from below 105 all the way up to 107 uh, before easing off and then falling on Monday. Uh, but this recent bounce has uh, looked constructive here on the charts. And if we are to continue to rally, uh, definitely it's going to get the attention of more traders. Uh, definitely has room to move to the top side, given that we've been falling for many months. Uh, and this is what a reversal pattern sort of looks like. You're starting to get higher lows. Um, so unless stock market selling comes back very sharply, very quickly, and a lot of the uh, the news that we've had coming out regarding uh, regarding the Chinese tariffs and U.S. trade wars, um, you know that's that's already priced in a little uh, with the current information that we have. So you can't expect the market just to go falling off a cliff uh, on, on the on the announcement today from well the U.S. session in the last couple of hours. You saw that announcement regarding the the products that are going to be on the new set of. Uh, of US tariffs uh, and the you know reply from Chinese is they're going to retaliate yet the reaction in the uh, stock market has been very very muted so you can't expect it there to be some sort of delayed reaction that's aggressive if there was going to be a huge reaction it would have happened already so uh, the chances for the Aussie dollar which is um, been grinding higher uh, and getting supported on dips and uh, seems to be in recovery mode as well uh, and also had some nice data in regards to retail sales today. Um, is is looking much better than it was uh, last week. You know the, the chances for short squeeze and growing uh, a much more neutral outlook. Maybe just range trading around the 77 figure uh, for for the next little bit until we get more information exactly uh, what is happening over uh, between the US and China. Maybe that will uh, become less of a, a main headline news and more would be if US stocks are going up and down each day as to which way. Uh, the US dollar goes. Uh, all in all though, uh, the US dollar is uh, still performing quite well and uh, especially against the Euro and the USD and so the if you're looking at the thing which is going to get a lot of attention if it happens is dollar index breaking 90 uh, would really uh, catch the market a little short. Uh, we could see uh, then potentially a, a bigger short squeeze and the play, way to play that would be more along the uh, dollar yen higher if that was a squeeze to 108 uh, and the euro to 122 and below now uh, that will catch a lot of traders sort of uh, on the wrong side of that market so this is what we're watching develop uh, so far this week we've got nfp later um, if these moves are going to happen they're probably going to happen pre -NF nfp uh, and not on, on not on friday so we'll see if we're, we're if the US dollars on the front foot above 90 going in it's into nfp uh, a strong nfp number uh, non-fund payrolls is how we do get the kickstart of, of a bigger US dollar recovery. All right, uh, look, if you have any questions, uh, you know, I don't want to go into too much detail on inv individual pairs and a short market update. Uh, give us a call on the contact detail below. Uh, if you're a trader with us, if you're not a trader with us, you want to deal like myself to, to talk about individual pairs, then uh, you'll be able to contact us on the uh, numbers below and the sign up page uh, below and someone will be assigned to your account.